Oh, Steve, it's a keeper. <laughs> what a shot to start with. Oh my God. Tell you what, mate, you're the, uh, you, you'll be the pin-up boy for custom fit at the minute. That's bullets straight and a couple of hundred yards down the fairway. I've not hit a fairway shot like that for years. I think we're both a bit shocked, aren't we? Yeah, I'm, good I'm a bit stunned at a shot yeah. like that. I wasn't expecting that. That's superb. Wow. Oh, superb. What a shot. Get in the hole. Come on. Right, welcome back to the channel to what is effectively episode three of a custom fit process that has uh, seen Steve Bauer go from, well, a 20-year-old driver. Yes. Seven-year-old set of irons. Yes. And we're into a brand new Callaway Paradigm. They look amazing. Yeah. They feel amazing. I've literally just got them out of the wrapper. Yeah. It's quite an experience, actually, because, uh, you know, I haven't even been on the range, and I'm slightly apprehensive about yeah, hitting them on the course. But, um, Kid at Christmas I, in terms of opening the... Uh, exactly. Yeah. I'm also excited. Um, I was, you know, having the adrenaline rush after, after the custom fit in the base, and now... How are they going to go on the course? Well, we will soon find out. What we're going to do today is very much an informal uh, knock around the golf course here at Carden Park. And I just want some immediate sort of feedback of what Steve's thoughts are. Don't forget, we've got irons into the long end of the bag into drive. We've got a five wood in there. We've got a hybrid, which I know he was absolutely loving at the custom fit. The question is, out in reality, how are these things going to perform? This is straight out of the wrapper. You say it felt light was your yeah. first impression. Yeah. Crazy that, isn't it? Yeah. Compared to my other one, yeah. Yeah. Oh, Steve! It's a keeper! <laughs> what a shot to start with! That's the first time that's happened. Woo. That was a great shot. Wow! That is so different. And you're saying different from your existing clubs or your older clubs, yeah? From the yeah, from the yeah. current Callaways, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Superb. Nice strike. Nice boring. shape. Yeah. Nice. That was interesting because it's the right distance. Huh? Yeah, it's very good. And it was interesting the ball flight as well. You managed to pick it up because one of the things about the the Paradigm lineup is that. As you know, they're quite strongly lofted throughout the set. So when we got here this morning, we'd forgot about what an A wedge was actually yeah. included in the set. And that's because, like I said, the pitching wedge is quite strong at about 42. And I think this is 47, was it, Han? Good. Thanks for confirming that. Because <laughs> well, we didn't know. First chip of the day, really. Yeah. You sort of debate now to play it. Mm -hmm. Lofted, it pitched the ball quite high. That's the big difference. Yeah. Yeah, which is what I'm after. And what did you think then? I thought it felt nice. Yeah. Yeah. Because that's the other thing, the feel bit I was going to ask you about. Yeah, it felt nice. Um, and obviously, it, it's not like hitting an old lofted wedge. It, it, it's more of a carry on from your irons. Yeah, well, so I think got, that's what they're trying to do. Yeah, so it's got a. I like that. It's yeah. Got a nice similar feel that you don't think it's a complete. An alien club, club all yeah. of a sudden. That's a good thing that you've picked up on because a lot of manufacturers have been trying to do it, is extend the line up so that it's, um, like I say, you're not moving into speciality wedges. You're looking down on exactly what you're looking down on, whether it be a five iron or down to the short end of the bag. So we'll hit a few more in and around the green, maybe again, see how that sort of plays out of bunkers and whatever else. And uh, no doubt Steve will give you some more feedback. Yeah, nice. Nice shape again. So, I mean, literally, I haven't swung a five wood in 15 years, okay? Because we didn't have it at the... No. So, really, this is like, not even on the range, anything. It feels nice. And if it's anything like yours in Scotland... Nice. It's came off it a little bit. So what's interesting, so first shot, um, if we can play that again, first shot was the hybrid, second shot we just played there with the five wood. Yeah. We're going to have a look down fairway, see where they did in terms of distance. First of all, with the hybrid, well, you told me through it, how did it go? Uh, I didn't catch it as cleanly as okay. I, I was, and it still went straight. Well, that's quite impressive then. Yeah. 
Yeah, I did like that on the on the custom. I know that was one of your favourite clubs, so it'll be interesting yeah. to see how you get into that. But I mean, I was interested well. down the middle of down the middle of the fairway, down off the tee. Yeah. Just made the five wood, moved it a little bit from left to right. Yeah. Seems to have gone a fair bit longer, if I'm honest, than the hybrid as well, yeah. which it should do. That's the gapping we're looking for. Yeah. First thoughts on the five hybrid. Well, I five haven't wood. hit a five wood in over 15 years. Okay. Hasn't been in my bag. Right. Is it staying uh, in it? Oh, absolutely. One shot in. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, you can tell it's going to make a difference. Yeah. And, uh, I've I've seen you hit the right-handed version of this very yes. club, uh, and if I can get anywhere near that, I'd be delighted. Okay. Well, same thing again. A few more shots with the hybrid and the five wood, but we just thought we'd get some first impressions. So, I've got one ten to the centre here. First time the pitching wedge been out of the bag. And this is going to be interesting to see. If I get a little bit more loft, because this is the type of shot I've struggled with. Let's see. So nice. I got more loft, just pulled it a little bit, but it's pin eye. Good distance control as well, very good. Funny even looking at the head. Yeah. In what sense? Different. Yeah. And you're different, you're obviously referring to a set of irons that you've had for eight years, looked down on the same thing, <coughs> and now you're seeing something different. Yeah. The slightly smaller head, and you've got nowhere near the same offset as you had in the last one as well, last set. Yeah. Nah, nice. Pulled. Nice. Pulled it though. Well, they're sad, but again, looking where it's come down, pin eye. Oh my word! That's an absolutely fantastic shot. You're happy with that, aren't you? Yeah. Let's just do a quick recap on what Steve got fitted for, because we haven't discussed that. And the, the main difference being was the change in the shaft. So it was a regular shaft of flex, uh, 55 gram, 10 side blue. But one of the big changes was that we went one inch shorter. Yep. Do you notice that at any point? Or you just, you can notice it yeah. at a dress? Yeah, Go it just feels more comfortable. Feels right. more... Natural? Yeah. Just comfortable, natural. Comfortable's yeah. a big word, I'd say. Yeah, good. Not stretching, it yeah. just feels... Good. But it's been out of the wrapper and I've hit it twice. Yeah, genuinely, the first tee shot you've seen us hit was out of the wrapper on the yeah. first. I'm that was the second time it's been used. Fantastic yeah. shot. Interestingly, again, on both shots, for me, one of the things was Steve was asked at the fit, what is his sort of bad shot, if you like, and it was overcooking, um, in your case, a, a left to right, which is a draw from a left-hander. Um, and on both shots, it's moved from left to right, but very minimal, hasn't it? Yeah. Well, you've noticed that standing behind me more. I was concentrating on the... Well, if you, if you watch the playback on these, it's a, it's a beautiful shape. It's hardly moved at all. And again, the weight in which was set up, which was in a... Um, well, the setting, rather, was very much to aid you in yes. terms of a weighting that negated that, that movement to the right, if possible. Yeah. So, so far... So good. Yeah, that's it. I'm, I mean, I must admit, I think it's really hard to have a new club in the bag and not try and overdo it. I've took it out myself when you take, take a club out of the wrapper and you, you're over, you overdo it, yeah. you're trying a bit hard, but I'm really impressed with the, those two strikes have been incredible, haven't they? First five wood. Is this the type of shot you'd normally fancy, Steve? No, not at all. No, okay. Th this is completely and utterly new ground to me. Okay. So, first five wood off the fairway in well over 15 years so anything could happen keep an eye on it oh my god tell you what mate you're the uh you, you'd be the pin-up boy for custom fit at the minute that's bullet straight and a couple of hundred yards down the fairway i've not had a fairway shot like that for years Seriously. <laughs> I'm super impressed, mate. I can't tell you, I'm impressed on two levels. One is your just personal performance, it's really good. And the fact that, you know, how good the clubs are actually doing, it's, it's yeah. impressive, isn't it? Yeah, well, four holes in, I've no complaints whatsoever. Quite the opposite, so. I think we're both a bit shocked, aren't we? Yeah, I'm, good I'm a gone. bit stunned at a shot yeah. like that. I wasn't expecting that. That's superb. Wow. That's really good. Wow. <laughs> it was, wasn't Don't it? people think it's superimposed? I know, yeah. I mean, that's... A 
That's yeah. carried what in the... It's a couple of hundred yards, mate. Quite yeah. easy. So basically you've got nine... I, I reckon where the pin is, maybe it's, you know, it's a... It's a 90 shot. Okay, so... I'm going to... I'm going to keep trying the... Uh, the new addition to the bag, the A wedge. Okay. And see... Well, I think this is something you're going to have to work out in a yard, yeah, is how far each of these go. This is not a, not a nice distance for me normally. Super pickup. Good ball flight. So it's middle of the green. Yeah, I've just got to get used to the, the distance. It's such a nice club, to be honest with you. Yeah, well, it's again, I think, you know, we just said at the beginning, this is something where you're going to have to get used to because mm. they're, um, they're, these are going to be stronger lofted throughout the bag than yeah. what your old set was. You're almost going to have to move back yeah. one club, aren't you, in terms of yardage. Can I just give you one observation there? With the extra loft, what did we go? Six degrees, was it? In, in terms the, of, the um, in terms of the that, edge added two. That two. That, that has sat down on the green much more comfortably than my old irons. Yeah, and again, that's the descent angle. Exactly. So the higher it goes, the... Well, I just the, the, the difference on that shot alone. Perfect. Bloody hell. It's long as well, that Steve. Slightly pushed left, wasn't it? But still. It's not deviated much, has it? Unbelievable again. It's like the, the, the distance off that seems to fire out. Yeah. Nice control again. Right on the flag. Perfect. Very nice. Interesting for me, like first mid iron, one of the things we did in the fitting, Steve picked up on it last time, which uh, in the last comment, which I didn't mention in the intro, is that on his irons we added two degrees of loft because one of the things you were struggling with was kind of ball flight in terms yeah. of height, wasn't it? Absolutely. And it's good to see on a mid iron, and again, was that six iron? Six iron, yeah. The six iron, decent ball flight, which again comes in with a, a descent angle that's Absolutely, better as yeah. well. And obviously in the summer that, that would run down nicely. And yeah. What do you think about the drive that you were critical of? It was a yard, it was a yard off the fairway. <laughs> I um, I was I was over critical. Yeah, I, I was very happy with that. I thought I, I thought it was wider than it was, but no, it just shot out. Yeah, the the, the thing is, play this course obviously quite often. They're very familiar with it. Where Steve has landed in terms of it's all carried. Don't forget, right now, still fairly wet in the UK, and it is on the Nicholas at the moment. That ball's an extra 20, 30 yards down the fairway. And that's a long drive, trust me. So I, I just noticed then that... We well, you're noticing like, it in my game as well, aren't you? Yeah, I'm, I don't normally... I'm super impressed with what I, I've done. I'm not in these kind yeah. of ranges, aren't I? So. I mean, I'll be honest with you, my fear is that you do this type of video, we've gone through the custom fit process, as I said in the intro, and we get out on the course and we don't really see the results. I am 100% confident that everything that's happened in terms of the clubs you've got are without doubt the right move yeah in it absolutely that's what i, I feel mean, watching even in these early stages yeah. it's, it's i've i've used the expression game changer a yeah. couple of times to you haven't you have um on the last hole that five wood off the fairway helped me make a par which yeah now it's just wasn't in the bag it wasn't it wasn't in the bag before so. i'm worried about how i'm going to win the next tenner nice nice yeah well played How's that? Set it off over the water, draw it back. Oh, superb. What a shot. Get in the hole. Come on. The interesting bit for me is the adjustments made. That was the A wedge again. Yeah, so didn't give it as much. Didn't give it as much. We had a shorter shot earlier on as well, yeah. which you made some... Uh, adjustments to. Adjustments to. That's the feel talking. of it now and the distance a little bit more. Yeah, which is key, isn't it? Yeah, because it's a brand new club, so... Yeah. Um, but, but it's interesting that you've used that A wedge now yeah. quite a, half a dozen times already. So quite a In first around half. the green, 80, yeah. 90 yards. That's what you had then, was it? Yeah. Perfect. 91. Good. Right, okay, do you know what? I think we'll draw to a close because, uh, well, I've seen enough to already know that I'm pretty fearful of uh, just how good you're going to play with these. I think we might have to see the uh, handicap secretary. <laughs> give, us your, give us your overriding impressions, first of all. Really, really positive, really exciting. Um, particularly the woods that I, uh, I, as I said on the previous video, I, I, I really was an area that was looking for an improvement. Straight away I can feel that. The five wood we talked about off the fairway, the driver I love, 
the Paradigm driver I absolutely love. I mean, there's a big difference there in terms of my carry already, uh, even in sort of damp conditions. Do you think you've? Do you think that what you found in the custom fit has then translated into on course performance? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So far, because um, that was my worry that you don't, you know, that we don't see it, but, we, but we, it's replicated what you did in the bay back at Archerfield mm. uh, two weeks ago has really happened out on the fairways, hasn't it? Yeah, absolutely. And, um, and and with the irons, as we talked about earlier on, with that extra loft already on a few shots, I'm, I'm seeing them sit on the green easier. Yeah. Um, so, um, I'm absolutely delighted. Yeah. And, uh, I'm really excited, really. Brilliant. No, I think there's no more to be... I could, we could wax lyrical about these things all day because it really has been a super impressive performance. Steve's done uh, really well because, I, like I said, I genuinely believe it's quite hard when you get those new toys out of the box to not overdo it, and uh, they've, they've performed incredibly well. And uh, once again, thank you to Archerfield and Callaway for that custom fit process. Really good. Ollie's done a fantastic job, and it's really nice to see that then come onto the golf course and perform and you know, make the game more enjoyable, uh, maybe uh, easier to play, maybe to be able to score better, who knows, all them kind of things that ultimately what we're out here to do. So. Maybe, yeah. maybe I can take some money off of you for a change. Well, yeah, that's the only thing I'm a bit worried that's about. The biggest that's the only thing I'm disappointed about. Right, as ever, thank you for watching. Give me some feedback down below in the comments section and we'll do our best to get back to you. And uh, likelihood is I will see you tomorrow night. And one other thing I want to mention, we're going to probably film another episode of this because I'd like to see me and you paired up in a game of golf with a scorecard in hand mm. and let's see what we can do. Right, see you tomorrow night.